<laughs> of course. Of course. Seems like a place for an epic final battle if I ever saw one. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... You... You came... You came for me. Uh, after what you said... I knew you'd come. The man... The man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! Let's dance! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. That man, don't you? Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family. Ah! Oh! My ears. No more lies. No more talk. The only truth left is in your death. She Mike Tyson me. I still want to know where she learned how to fight. Let's see those chops. I am Batman. Mm, those boots. I gotta get me some of those. Going toe to toe here. I think there's actually symbolism in that we aren't using our full power suit here. Because I feel like if we were in our full power suit, we'd be like destroy her. Just to like make it seem like the fight's a little bit more even. 
things, but at the same time, without the suit, it makes it seem like. Oh. To her credit. Oh! She's not gonna roll out of the way in time or something. That statue is gonna smush her. She knows who I am. She has to die. <laughs> Gonna have an Obido moment right here. I'll never trust you. Wait for it. <laughs> God. Mm -hmm. Naruto fans would know. <laughs> As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that, after everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> That it does. What's the point of me missing a piece of ear? We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen, but experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know 
what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. That's a lot to live up to, you know. I won't let you down, Alfred. I know you won't. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. I feel like the right Perhaps one. Perhaps one is truly the mask. Is one is who you truly believe you are. Is more valid. To see, at this point in the game, I would have liked the game and Telltale to automatically choose which one I should go as based on the decisions that I've made thus far. Not go full Mass Effect 3 on it and be completely absurd, but yeah, I think this is a final decision that should be based on my decisions made previously. So, but I'm going to it. Looks like it, this was like a back alley shady deal here. <laughs> Let's do a public one. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. I think this is what he wanted to when he talked about leaders. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. <coughs> What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor... I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that... I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did. So we can all move forward. Oh, that can't be easy. But I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention... <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Batman wouldn't show up during the day. During times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions.
No matter how much I want to, I can't change the past. Gotham's so-called golden age was built on corruption and lies. But that doesn't mean that going forward, we can't do things differently. We have to do things differently. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, Mm. I don't know what to choose. Ooh. I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. Instead, I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing Arkham Asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the vision of its founders. Oh shit, I have hands are off the keyboard. Ah! Oh, if I would have missed, you would have definitely shot him. The area. Get that bastard to lock up. Who's this guy? Who that guy? Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Brucey. <laughs> kind of saw that coming. <laughs> he had to escape. Oh, too early. Too early. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for season one, episode five, City of Light of Telltale Batman. Like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed the entire narrative. It was a really different take on Batman that I've actually never seen before. It kind of tarnishes that like pristine look of the Wayne family, and I dug it the entire way through. And as you can probably guess, it sets up nicely for season two. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the entire series and episode. I will be giving you guys my full review of the entire season in a little bit. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I shall see you guys next time and next week for the release of Walking Dead Season 3. The Return of Clementine. She looks like a badass now, so I'm really excited. Anyways, bye!